Hello, dear friends. This is episode four. Let me turn that music down. There. Uh, this is episode four. I thought I'd do a little tour of Cube Realm, which I have spoken of. This is also where that little video clip I had as a <laughs> as a uh, an opening on the first few happened. Hostile creatures way down. Um, I, I think that was kind of a silly idea, that intro. I'm not pleased with it at all. Um, so with this video, I'm going to leave it out. Maybe use that little bit of a sound clip. So I am here because last time I logged out, I... Uh, sort of in the middle of a field, and I didn't really feel like walking all the way back to a safe house. Um, and also, I'm right next to a, a grass bridge where I'm trying to... Um, stupid spider. Where I'm, I'm trying to get grass to move from, from one place to another. So, let's see. Oh, it's actually daylight. Spiders hold grudges, though. Where is he? Here is skeleton. It's probably hiding behind a tree. All right. So the grass has started to spread. This little opening. Right here is where I'm going to build a house. Where is that spider? It's noisy. Where's that skeleton? Uh, covered forests are a little bit dangerous to build in. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing it. Um, this one's got a little riverside view. is one of, it will be one of two buildings so far that I'm putting together for my village. Um, I'll leave this in place. Show you what I've got so far. Hi. Um, this is a great server. It's partly roleplay, partly vanilla. Uh, it has a few plugins that you can more or less ignore if you want to. Which uh, handle things like economy and uh, quests and treasures. Uh, if you have a town, uh, you can get a mob protection on it. I started a rainbow sheep farm uh, in preparedness for the 1.8 update, where I will... Uh, where I plan to uh, have a banner shop. It's a little overgrown cemetery. Uh, based off, I'm, I grew up in Maine, and um, there's a, a small mountain near where I grew up that has some caves under it, and it used to be a, a main route um, for Icemen. They would, uh, in the winter, they would freeze huge blocks of ice and they would store them in a cave and then deliver them by wagon around the town. This is Storyland Cove. Um, and a little, little town grew up along that route. You know, anywhere there, where there's regular traffic, people sort of congregate. And there was not much left except a few uh, foundations and a cemetery. <laughs> so up there in the middle of the woods on a mountaintop, near some caves, is an overgrown cemetery. Uh, this tree I'm building, the structure of it's nearly done. I just need to uh, fill out some of the branches so it looks a little less goofy. 
quick tour of the house, and then we'll go to the carnival. There's a cat in the cat box. Fireplace. Oh, I should have shown you the other house. I'll show you that on the way out. Um, downstairs. This is my workspace. I've got all my storage. Which is relatively organized. Getting a little loaded up here. And, uh, I have plans for that flower. Uh, the inside isn't uh, furnished yet, of course. I've got a friend on the server who's really good at internal furnishings. And, uh, I'll be getting her assistance. This is going to serve as, I think, both the, the mayoral home and the town hall. I've got to have certain things on the server to count as a town. I mean, you can build whatever you want, wherever you want, as long as you're not, you know, right butt up against someone. If you want the status of a town, you need a few things, including a town hall, a cemetery, some public services like gardens or stables, um, some houses or plots that people can uh, rent or buy from you. We're getting up into the branches, the branches are hollow. Uh, and a means of travel. There's a, uh, a fast travel system. Basically a teleportation system, but they've got to be um, in the style of something that fits with the, uh, the style of the server, which is basically fantasy medieval. So we've got some airships and um, some ship ships and uh, one train of some sort. So the, uh, the tree has a fork in it, and these are the two branches of the fork. Still working on it, as I said. Um, I might actually make some apartments up here. Um, I'm a little hesitant because the... Uh, Haven, where, where you spawn when you first arrive, is a huge world tree. This is just a little, uh, little something compared to it. Of course, I've done this all manually. There's the house I built. It's just across the way uh, from the, the clearing we started out in. There's a ship. This is uh, the port town of Curiosity. You can just barely see. I don't have my render distance on very far. My computer isn't awesome. It manages. Uh, just yesterday, I, I updated my Java to 64-bit. I haven't noticed any change, um, but I have learned that for some people, the 1.8 update has some issues. If you have a 64-bit operating system, but only a 32-bit Java. So case that becomes an issue, I up updated. I haven't noticed any change. Uh, my frame rates are not awesome. 30. Um, although, um, until relatively recently, 30 frames per second is what was standard for um, film and TV. 29, actually. Um, hard to believe. Uh, nowadays, that that's enough, but I think they never did very fast pans unless they were going to blur. Um, I think the only other thing we have here is the, the mine down here. Uh, and uh, a safe house. Or I call it a way house. It, uh, Basically, it's a quick tunnel through to the town of Curiosity that's safe all the way through. This is my horse, Zipper. I'm going to take Zipper into town. 
into curiosity. This is a road I built specifically to be safe for Zipper. Um, well, for me on Zipper. It does occasionally bump my head, but not very often. Okay, the grass is right where I need it to be. Cool. I'm gonna put the flower on. Don't wander off, Zipper. I don't like having flowers on raw dirt. I'm not entirely sure if uh, grass would jump that gap. Uh, and let's take a quick peek at the uh, the other house. Yeah, it's not too complicated. Not 100% uh, satisfied with the, uh, the light blue glass here. Big on balconies and such to keep houses from being too boxy looking. There's the tree. You can sort of see that branch really needs some work. Get some nice views. That's a bridge we're about to take. Let's see how far Zipper's wandered. He seems to wander. I called him Zipper because he's pretty fast. We don't have a lot of long flat stretches to really give him free reign, as it were. Come on, Zipper. Oh. The only way I bump my head is if he starts to walk up a block, and for the most part, everything's three high or more. I'm headed into Curiosity, which we've attracted the attention of a spider. Take him into the stable here. It's busy. Maybe I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> I've never actually had a horse before. So I really want to keep this one safe. So we're building the Ferris wheel, a carousel. Um, creeper. Uh, we've got a... Uh, a ski ball game, a roller coaster. I'm going to go away. Don't you dare shoot my horse. Stay away from my damn horse. I don't want to accidentally hit the horse. Stop hitting the sheep, you jerk! I try to be really careful around livestock, because I've had, had them kill my stuff before. Take a quick ride on the roller coaster, and as long as there are no mobs on the tracks. Which I believe there shouldn't be. Where's my cart? Someone did not return the cart. Or it may be on the tracks somewhere. Okay, I'll go fetch a cart. We've got a petting zoo kind of thing, and we've got some booths. We've got a tunnel of love. These are the work chests while we're building. Uh, there's a maze. Why is there a sheep in that cart? Alright. We'll take this cart. While we're here, let's take a look at the maze. Get some dirt. I'm gonna... There's the maze. Um, it defeats the follow the left wall thing strategy. So if you come on the server, um, that will give you a prize. Ski ball won't give you a prize yet, but it will. There's an archery game there. Um, Uh, 
Uh, this, you may notice, is our... essentially one of those big inflatable mascots. Um, but he's a giant... one of those critters that's in the code but doesn't spawn naturally. And technically, he's an NPC in the shape of a giant. Okay, let's ride. That wasn't right. What the hell just happened? <sighs> Alright, that was start. Just went up. And then turn. There it is. That's what I thought might have happened. Sometimes, for some reason, when I get in the cart, it's really low, like... like that. So I, I kind of switch to get a good view, but... Let's see if I can. From back. Ah! It's disorienting. Alright, we'll go first person. Only when I'm recording, the sound cuts off about there. Don't know why, or when it's raining. Oh well. I think it's a pretty good roller coaster. Particularly considering I built it manually. Uh, and I think that's enough of that. We'll hop on Zipper and head back. Uh, haven't been keeping track of the time, but there's a good chance that we can call this an episode. And we'll do another one. Uh, I'll work on something here, and then we'll go back to the regular series. How's that sound? As you can see, it's a fully dangerous server. Griefing is off, so Enderman can't walk away with blocks. And when creepers explode, they don't break the uh, surroundings. They will still damage mobs, your pets and such. There's our area. There's the tree. There's the cove. There's the sheep farm. There's the house. And as dawn approaches, I'm going to sign off. Have a good one, friends.